So recently, possibly like a week ago, I gave cold showers a try. I I believe back in the day I used to talk shit on cold showers saying they're fucking useless or something. I just remember talking shit on cold showers. Or maybe saying like ice baths are superior. Anyways, I gave cold showers a try because I just was in this community and it kind of got like brought up. So I gave cold showers a try. And let me tell you how I do them, what benefits I see, are they worth it, should you do them. Just answer all the questions. First off, let's talk about how I did them. Whenever I would take a cold shower, I do it first thing in the morning. Well, <laughs> first thing, what I do is I get out of my bed, make the bed, go over to my bathroom, take a piss, brush my teeth, and then I take the shower. So it's not first thing. I like to brush my teeth, like, before shower because I'm not going to be, like, in the soaking wet brushing my teeth. I like to get it done first. <laughs> Just personal preference. You can do whatever you want. But anyways, I take the cold shower and I actually wouldn't start on cold. <laughs> you might think I'm a bitch for doing this and you're halfway right. <laughs> the reason I, I wouldn't do cold first is because I like the hot water. I like to... It's just your body doesn't get washed the same if you use cold water versus warm water. Warm water, it um loosens stuff up. Your skin oils, they're going to get warm and they're going to like slide off easier. Like gunk and shit that's like dead skin build up on you. It's going to wash away way easier if you use hot water. Because hot basically makes the molecules move faster, loosens them up, blah, blah, blah. So that's basically why I did it. And then what I do is, once I was done washing, I just finish on cold. I I turn it on cold for like maybe 30 seconds, just till I got my breathing under control and the cold water wasn't like shocking me anymore. Once I could like adapt to the cold is when I'd stop the cold shower. And what I'd see from it, I took the cold shower. Normally I'd like hyperventilate because I'm freaking the fuck out. I'm really like in that primal state, really, um... Fight or flight definitely got fucking activated. Stress the fuck out. Over hyperventilating. Overly ventilating. And then you kind of like adjust to it. And the cold water doesn't seem that bad. You kind of, Your body kind of like normalizes, gets used to it. I think everyone's seen this if you've taken a cold shower before. I guess it's just for those of you who haven't. Anyways, get out of the cold shower. And the, here's the first benefit I notice. Normally, when I get out of a warm shower, is that the outside just seems fucking cold. Whenever I get out of the warm shower, you never want to get out of the warm shower because it just feels so good. And when you turn that water off, you're immediately freezing, you're doused in water, and you're drying off and you're, like, shivering. The difference here is I was already, my body already adjusted to cold, so stepping out of the shower just felt like it was warmer to step out of the shower, and I wasn't, like getting that pain basically I basically delayed my gratification because I froze myself first and when I got out of it I didn't freeze later <laughs> you know kind of investing in the future <laughs> I don't know but I also noticed that it gives you a motivation boost when you take a cold shower it requires like that internal locus like it requires, like, discipline and motivation, and it's a hard thing to do to, like, turn that knob to cold and, like, actually every day put yourself through that shit. And the tasks that I do every day, like, recording, going, working out, it wouldn't seem as hard because I already did, like, a, a hard thing, and it kind of, like, when you're going from, like, 100 miles an hour to, like, 80, it doesn't feel, like, as much as a shift as going from, like, 20 to 80 you feel you get what i'm talking about i was just like my, my i was adjusted to the pressure and like stress of normal life it made everyday life feel easier once you took that cold shower and that's basically where all the benefits run off i did not notice any fat loss any other conditions related to my body all it, it just made getting out of the shower easier and it gave me a motivation boost it's all just mental. Really, the benefits of your body are very small. And it probably takes you... You probably have to do it for a long time to actually see 
benefits, and you're probably not even going to notice them because they're just so tiny. That's the only benefits of really a cold shower. Same thing with an ice bath, except ice baths are kind of more intense. It's concentrated cold, so it's going to, like, um, heal. If you have sore muscles, it's going to, like, help them to, like, not be sore. Your body's going to feel better. That's the difference in ice bath versus a cold shower. Cold shower is just, like, a shock motivation boost. And I find, like, I leave find, like, cold showers. Sometimes they're harder than ice baths. This might sound crazy, but stick with me here. The difference between an ice bath and a cold shower is that when you're in the ice bath, you're still. You're not moving and swimming around the ice bath. So the water's, like, stagnant. It allows your body heat to build up, like, a layer in the water. So you're not, like, as cold. Versus, like, a cold shower, it's moving water. And it's, you're getting a refresh of cold water back on you. And it's a whole lot more intense, a whole lot colder of a shock. Versus the ice bath. So, yeah, cold showers definitely feel a lot colder than an ice bath. I know that's crazy coming from me, but just take my word for it. Cold showers are somewhat harder. So I hope that answered any of your questions that you might have had about this topic. Real quickly, I want to plug my my mentorship. It's the first thing in the description. And basically, I'm going to teach you to become more disciplined and more fit. I want all my followers to be in tip-top shape because that gives me a good reputation. It makes me look good when my followers are also all winners. So I want to make you successful. It's a paid mentorship. I offer you one-on-one -on -one coaching. I give you my phone number to text me. I give you 30-minute check-in calls and an advanced game plan. We're going to strategize on how to make you the absolute top G, how to make you disciplined, fit, and that's basically all you need, really, to conquer life. Because discipline and fitness kind of go together. You need to be disciplined to be fit. It's like, I don't know, I just integrated it. Anyways, first link in the description. If you don't want to check it out, totally fine. You can go on your way. I'm not going to force anything upon you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.